and uh, welcome to part three, I believe it is, um, of the Terrat 650 Iron Man quadcopter build. And uh, in this part, we're gonna mount the undercarriage. Um, you can see it just for example to show you what what I actually mean is um, we're gonna mount these uh, rubbery uh, circles here and uh, drive these. Um, carbon rod through so we'll have an undercarriage like that where you can for example mount a, a gimbal of, of some sort okay so um, we're gonna do the exact same thing uh, on the other side with these so I'm gonna show you how to mount these um, rubbery things okay so um, we're gonna end up with a result like this um, you get a bag with um, some orange and black um, aluminum pieces, round pieces like this one, um, for example, and then you get four of these rubbery things here with a uh, just a uh, a carved in um, some kind of carved in rubber here to to mount on this one. So we're gonna end up with this one, and as you can probably guess, you should just push this through like that. Okay. So we're going to remove this, and I'm just going to turn it around here. Just like that, see if the camera can still see it. Yes, it can. Okay. And just going to remove the screws and not drop them. So, and remove the other screw. And it is relatively simple to mount this. Um, you just take um, one of the screws and uh, well, I'm, I'm on a wrong angle here but um, it is really simple you can just with your hands you don't need any um, tools or anything um, you can just push them down into these holes uh, right there and then it's pretty straightforward from that, from that so when they're down you just take your allen key as I found out it's called and um, you just start with the one, uh, one end, so you just start with this one and just make sure that it just attaches, don't screw it very much in. And you're going to go up to the other side here, you can just press that up a little bit. And you're going to go to the other side, just like that. And then you can just tighten them up. And you should do that on the other side and these ones as well. And you can decide on the color code. So I've done that the black is in the back and the orange is in the front. Um, just to make orientation a bit easier when it gets flying. Not that you can see much, but the principle. So go ahead and do that to the three other sides. Okay. Now that you've mounted and uh, these um, holders um, on the underside of the frame, we should go ahead and mount the carbon fiber rods just as I've mounted this one on this side. So um, it's pretty easy. Um, just um, go for the hole, just press, um, and you can see that was a little bit too far. So just take a little bit back and hit right there and press through and when you got it through both you can just turn it a little bit to make it easier and um, just measure if it's equal length on both sides this one is 2.5 centimeters and this one is 2.3 so it's just one millimeter more I believe it's there. 2.3 still. So, just like that. They're through and they're equal length um, on both sides. So that's how you mount the undercarriage. Okay, so, so far our builds look like this. We have mounted the arms to the center plate. We have mounted um, these 
orange spacers for the top plate to go on. We have mounted the undercarriage um, and we have mounted the landing gear. Um, so you can, for the undercarriage, you can go ahead and mount these um, small plastic caps um, just by pushing it to one it to the ends here. But as I'm trying to save weight, uh, I'm just gonna gonna drop those because I'm not uh, gonna use that anyway. I'm gonna use the undercarriage for mounting a camera, and those end caps are pretty uh, uh, unuseful, so uh, and unnecessary. So our build looks so, so good so far. So um, see you in the next part for programming some electronics. So uh, bye. Please subscribe for further updates.